I, I never rag on anybody's reporting, right? But that Business mm -hmm. Insider piece is so convolutedly written. And I don't know if it comes from... A, did you read it? Did you read that Business Insider piece? No, because it wasn't it like behind a paywall or something? Yes, I actually had to sign up for Business Insider to read it because yeah, I was very curious why. on what, what other... You know, how they were it. reading it. And, um, you know, I... I read the article and it was kind of all over the place. Uh, I don't think it did a good job at actually representing the story. It, there were a couple of inaccuracies in it. I can't remember what it was, but when I read it, I was like, eh, that's not accurate. Uh, you know, the person's probably not a pro wrestling writer, knows nothing about pro wrestling. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to take a knock at the person that wrote it. You know, listen, everybody, you get these assignments, you get these jobs, you do it. But I thought it was a terribly written piece on a huge developing story uh, that that is really going to uh, play a part in WWE's future. But I, I, you know, we spoke about it with Dave. I, I gave pretty much all, all the details on there. I, obviously, we'll, we'll retouch, on, retouch on this, but mm -hmm. I got to tell you, I, I, how, I would never, okay, if I own a company, like what would have to happen that I tell my, you know, I, I'm not saying that the PR department did this, right? I'm or whoever. Mm -hmm. But Business Insider didn't that that person did not you know find a scoop. Right. Or and it also did not come from the person that told me what happened. Right. This is two so you, separate So you think they were fed the the piece from someone at WWE? I cannot imagine that this this person that really knows nothing about pro wrestling happened to stumble on this, you know, story. Or maybe, you know, or maybe they, they heard the story based on what we reported and they contacted WWE and got, a, you mm -hmm. know, got uh, the answer from PR. That's also possible. But uh, could you imagine, like, you have kids, right? Yeah. Uh, the only thing that I, it doesn't stand right with me is that it was like a Vince initiative to do this. Like, I, I could never bury my child, <laughs> you know, to the media. Yeah. Well, I mean, you look at his uh, relationship with Shane. Is it that surprising? I mean, I don't know. I mean, Shane, Shane. I, I don't know. I, I, I've, WWE. I mean, I don't think I ever saw an article saying that Shane is incompetent at his job, and it came from WWE directly. You know, like yeah, yeah. Obviously, we heard what happened at Royal Rumble, but that was a little. That was like the first time I saw something negative like that come about the McMahons. But I, I, I was just. I'm still shocked. Like I would never. Put it out there like that. You could have let, and here's here's where the strategy is, right? You could have let, you could have let her just said, you know, I'm taking time off, which she is, and that's 100 percent accurate, right? She wanted to take time off, and she is taking time off. That is not a a pretend piece of the story, but the 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 piece where this is coming from Vince and this is a Vince initiative, I've never seen that before. I even to the point like when I reported this, Garrett, like I was. I almost felt like I was being uh, worked in reporting this. You know right. what I mean? Yes. Like I even like I asked a couple people and nobody else had heard this. But because of the person that told me, I have no reason to doubt what they're saying. Right. Right. Um, and then now it's coming out that this is accurate. But what happened, you know, yeah. in, or, to go from that initial press release or, or statement that, you know, I'm taking time off to spend time with the family, whatever, to. You know, oh, well, she was kind of terrible at her job. And I'm filling in the words. Uh, it's not my opinion. Of I don't know how good or how bad she was at her job other than what was said to me. But, you know, this is it's a very bizarre take. It's a very bizarre positioning for the company. Uh, I would have said that this is less Vince and more the new guard at WWE, the new corporate guard at WWE rather than mm -hmm. the old guard. Um, I mean, it, I, what do you I, I want to get your opinion on this? Like. When when I was told, I called you first, right? Yes. <laughs> I, I, like I think I did. I think I called you immediately, and I was like, "All right, I gotta I gotta tell you what's going on here," because you know you at least have some knowledge on this, you know, you, with Dave and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, but what did you think of this? Like, where, why, why this strategy? Why not let her just take time off and deal with it later? Yeah, I thought. My my initial thought was, okay, this is a new WWE. This is not the same family-owned business where Stephanie and Shane are kind of propped up in this way, and they're going to be allowed to fail, and they're going to be able to fall forward. Because that's what it was 
you know, throughout the 2000s, right? It was Stephanie in charge of creative. Well, why is she in charge of creative? What did she do or what what kind of schooling does she have that says she understands this other than growing up in, in the wrestling family that she did? And so it was definitely a step in a different direction. It tells me there's way more of a corporate influence, um, probably a Nick Khan influence. And that's the guy that you, you should be following in their friends right? like that. And they're friends, Steph and but, Hunter but, and Nick. They're friends. Oh, yeah. Like, I think they, Dave said that they kind of helped bring him into the company or something. Yeah, their, their relationship. 100%. So so that that whole thing, some, some, something changed. And it has to be from a corporate mentality. But the but the being negative towards Stephanie out the door is something way different. And that's the thing that's kind of hard to understand is the why of that. So when you told me about this and I was talking to Dave a little bit about it, cause I wanted to get, I wanted to see if he had heard anything and, you know, he hadn't really heard much about it, but he, his, and his initial thing, and I'm not breaking any confidence here. Cause this is what he's said consistently. Yeah. He said, I just don't understand why they would say bad things about her out the door because if you possibly ever did that before, you were going to get fired. And when you told me what was going on, the idea that I got was, oh, they're not scared of this information getting out. Like, yeah. there, there's a strategy here. And so that's kind of the unanswerable question for me. And I, I mean, I don't know if, you know, if, if there's been a possible uh relationship thing with vince and his daughter i i don't know if she was thinking of going this way and and you know vince and people close to vince are like nope we got to go this way now you know i had i had heard stuff about you know sort of kevin dunn and and may, maybe you know if stephanie and triple h had ever fully taken over like maybe that they weren't the biggest fans of him and same with you know the bruce pritchards of the world and yeah. Johnny Aces and those guys who have been like long time Vince uh, right hand men to the point of where they get the blame for stuff that maybe that they didn't necessarily do just to protect Vince. And that's, you know, and I've heard stories about that. But, you know, that that is just the thing that just kind of boggles my mind is how does Stephanie go from completely untouchable to let's just, you know, let's let's just blast her on the way out. Like what changed there? I, I mean, a couple of years ago, I mean, it, 2018 obviously the succession plan was vince uh vince you know leaving it to hunter and steph I, that was always kind of how it was positioned and everybody's answer was poor shane but you know I, I the the other piece of this is when you put out an article like that right like when you put out a story essentially saying that she was not competent and there was no confidence in her job uh, they 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 positioned it in a very interesting way where you didn't hear anything about her her actual position as branding and marketing. You only heard that uh, the I mean, I I don't know if they're reporting based on my report, or if they got other information from WWE because I haven't heard anything beyond uh, the initial discussion other than a mm -hmm. few couple things here and there. But it was it was said in a way that like, well, you know, when Michelle Wilson left, Stephanie took over the sales and the UFC thing and, you know, like the investors. It wasn't right. like Stephanie's doing terrible at everything. It was to me, it was like, oh, so this thing that she ended up having to do because you you released somebody, you fired somebody and, and couldn't find the proper person. So now you're burying her when it wasn't even her sole job. I, I just that to me was uh, the most bizarre part of it uh, on top of obviously uh, your you're you're telling me that a McMahon was terrible at her job in pro wrestling. Which right, it, I cannot imagine them doing that. There has, I'm not saying there's more, but my own personal belief is that something had to have happened here, right? You don't you don't do that to your family. I don't care how yep. tough I, you know, the whole story. Well, he's tough on his kids. He's tougher on his kids than everybody else. Yeah, but how tough was he? Stephanie McMahon got a great corporate gig with no corporate experience. Shane mm -hmm. grew up in that company. Stephanie grew up in that company. Not that they they didn't deserve it. I truly believe that they deserve to be where they were. It's the family legacy. It's the business. And they did, you know, they worked hard. They're very hardworking people. But I I just, I could, it's not in my nature. And maybe that's why I don't, I don't understand it that I cannot, I, I, I choose not to believe that this was a Vince 
thing. Because <laughs> you're a decent human being, that's why. I try to like, be. <laughs> like the, this industry sometimes, right, can can be, uh, you know, pretty tough uh, with, with people who may not make decisions in the same way that you and I would make decisions. Okay, so the other thing that's so funny about this is the people who Vince has brought back to work for him, like the Jeff Jarrett, you know, is now running the live events thing. And Jeff, Jeff Jarrett, Jarrett has a held... job in WWE and Stephanie does it. <laughs> right. Jeff Jarrett <laughs> held Vince up for, you know, a million bucks or whatever it was to lose a match because his contract had expired. And, you know, supposedly that made him persona non grata until he wasn't anymore, until he was okay to come back. And now he's running live events. It's just like that whole stuff is, is really wonky. Um, you know, that the the idea though. So 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 here's what's inconsistent about the situation, right? Because Dave is continuing to report that he doesn't believe that Vince was behind Stephanie leaving. But Dave also says everything that happens at WWE is the result of Vince, right? So he believes I'm not going to put words in his mouth, but maybe the scenario could possibly be that she saw the writing on the wall and she exited stage left before they could do something or before Vince had to make that decision. Maybe she made that decision for him because she knew what was coming. That is and, definitely and, and possible. And he got upset? I mean, that is possible. He got upset that yeah. she wants to take time off. You know, maybe maybe it was a thing like that where, but uh, I, I it, it, something is so fishy here to me. Yeah. Like, I honestly, honestly, I, I feel like this is a very, there's a lot of holes in this. And you don't, I don't know, man. I, I mean, it just could be like business as usual. Everybody's equal. It's a corporate position. Uh, I mean, do you? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to say what I'm going to say, but I, I don't. Because <laughs> I, I, you don't want your cell phone to start ringing. That's why. I, well, yeah, kind of. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But I, 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 other companies don't do this. 